Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. We are continuing on. This is part three of our accordion cover um, junk journal. And today I'm going to talk about papers and we're going to do a little decorating of pockets. Now, after uh, we did the hinges yesterday, I came in and did the rest of the pockets. I think yesterday we did, let me see, did we do, I think we did this side. And I was determining whether or not I wanted to put lace in the middle. I decided to do that and I didn't want the, I wanted the lace to be covered. So I came in and I added another pocket. So there's gonna be a pocket. Let me see, a pocket here right here and then there's also going to be this pocket that we did together here so there's double pockets all the way across this side and this is the front cover and we may get to decorating the front cover today uh, we'll see how much i can get done and then um we added this paper pad and then i came in and i did another double pocket here here's an angle pocket and then a larger pocket okay then of course i did the other side like i said i was going to do and i added the paper pad on this side this side this time and um Oh, I also wanted to mention I sewed all the way around. It did fit through my machine, so everything is nice and secure. So we have a double pocket here and a double pocket here, and then just the double pocket on this side. And I didn't want to cover up the beautiful, uh, this beautiful paper here with the roses, so I just did a little tag flip up and secured it with some washi tape so you can journal right on the cover here. And then also on that tag, or take it off because it's just secure with washi tape so you can see where all the hinges were done and so let's get right into it and um, I'm going to talk about papers uh, we won't be sewing them in today but I'm going to prepare some this will be the um, this will be our spine and it's uh, one and a half I believe inch spine or I'll have to measure that, let me see. I, we did that, I think we cut that in the very beginning, and that is, yes, it's a one and a half inch spine, and I did go ahead and cover that on both sides. So that will be hinged, uh, just like I hinged the other two, uh, to the front and the back. And this, this is actually, is this the front? Let me see. No, this, this one's the back. Okay, this is the back. Though I, I thought I wanted that to be the front. Uh, this is the back. This is the back of the, the journal. I need to just fold it up a little bit here. And this will be the front. So the, um, you'll see the spine. Let me flip these over this way is going to go right here and it'll it'll be like you know like this let me pull the other one out that i did just to show you in case you're just popping in now uh for the first time here's the spine and then there's the accordion folds and this is the one i'm going to be giving away and that will be for the april giveaway so Let's pull some papers out. I chose some papers and I always, let's put this aside and we'll come back and we're going to do some decorating of these pockets. Um, oops, got my ink off. Okay, so I wanted to do two signatures, but I think I'm going to do three signatures in this because my middle signature, I'm going to have um, this heavy pocket here. And um, how I made this is I put two pieces of um, this beautiful cardstock back to back. I cut it down to the size I was going to meet, need for the journal. Then I have pockets here. So there's a po there's going to be a, a large tag pocket here because I want to make a couple of really large tags for this. I uh, and a large tag pocket, a large tag for there, and then uh, some journaling cards here, and then. I haven't decided I might do some kind of flip out folder type 
envelope here and one on this side. So that's going to be all by itself in the middle. And then the papers will be on either side. So let me show you what I chose for papers. So I try to get a, um, a nice variety. So I've got some... Uh, Vintage graph here. I've got some watercolor here. Uh, not watercolor, handmade uh, paper here. See the little leaf in it. I've got some beautiful printed vellum. Two sheets of that because I'm doing two signatures, so I try to choose at least two pages of each. Now, these are antique uh, book pages uh, from the early 1900s. So I have one there one there, one there. This is from a magazine called The Delineator, and it was a magazine for women. And see, there's the date, 1906. So these are quite fragile, so I might do, I might um, do a little hinge on the spine here, just to keep it, um, look at this one, I love this. The women having their tea or their coffee there, and it's a, it's an advertisement for silver. And that is from that same uh, Delineator magazine. I've got two music papers here. Um, I've got some pattern papers from uh, past kits that I bought. And I came in and I did a die cut scalloped on the edge of that, just for interest. A couple more, and um, these are printed on both sides so you can um, journal in them. So then I have several sheets of that. This one isn't, because um, I was thinking about making this one into a pocket. There's so many, gonna be so many pockets in this. And then we have some coffee stained paper, several sheets of that. If you are going to coffee stain your paper, my suggestion is to put a tiny bit of baking soda in, in it to neutralize the acid in it in case you're putting pictures and things in your journals. Uh, it's just uh, to save the photos and things like that. Then I have two bags here. Um, this actually isn't a bag, it's a large coin envelope I made. Um, and I did do a video on how to make these and I simply came in and cut it down to the size I needed, and there's some like um, gold shimmer on here. So that's going to be in one side, and then I had to cut this bag down, and when I, I just cut it down, and this side is the regular, you know, entry to the paper bag, and then I did a little um, notch in that, and then I sewed the top. So I'm going to pull out some of these coffee stain papers and I just want to do a, lo a little bit of quick stenciling on them um, so that there's a little bit of something on them and you can ink all your papers too if you want. Now I, I noticed, I looked at this, of course there's roses and then there's like barn, uh, Oh, well, shabby wood, you know, siding and things like that. And then see there's crack in the stucco here and there's exposed brick. So I went to see what I had in stencils that would go with this. See the crackle or whatever. Uh, so I had, I knew I had a rose, um, I have a rose stencil, and this is from the Tim Holtz collection, but I also realized I have some, a, like a brick pattern stencil, and then I have this, I thought maybe, you know, that would just add a little something, and then I have this swirly, but I don't think I'm going to use the swirly one. So these are the three we're going to work with. So let's start and just do, I'm just going to do a little bit just a little bit up at the top and we'll just use vintage vintage photo and I'm going to use my brush for this um, because uh, a sponge also works well because I feel like you can get in and I don't have to tape down the stencil so we're just gonna do a little bit there in that corner so that gives the paper a little bit of character and then if you want you can pardon my reach you can come in and do, you know, all the way around. So we'll do a little bit on that side and we'll do a little bit on this side and just like this, like opposing sides. We'll do it at the bottom. So there's a little stencil there. Okay, and we'll leave the inside 
just the way it is. Okay, so there's that one. Let me put that aside. Um, let's go ahead and open this page up and we'll do a little bit more brick. Um, just, I think I'm gonna do it right in the middle. Just right here, just a couple bricks. Stone or bricks or like that. And I think I might just pop a little bit of the rose and I'm just seeing where I might want this and I'm gonna use the uh, worn lipstick that I had used. I'm just gonna use this uh, brush right here just for this one. Well, that didn't come out very good. Let's 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 do a little bit more right here. Here, I've got this little brush. That way, I'm not. I can wash it afterwards and not going to mix inks. Okay, so there's a little rose there, and then I think I'll just go ahead and just do a little bit more color just around here and maybe back here um so let's put that one aside i don't want to overdo it with the um let's do a little bit down in this no 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 we're not going to do that no ricky sorry guys i gave them their bones but and just a little bit there, and then maybe a little bit up here in this corner. Okay, put that one aside. And then this one, I think I'll use this. I like, I kind of like this mesh. It's a burlap, so gives it that, you know, that kind of, you know what, let's do the inside. And I'm doing it lightly so it can be, you know, written right over. And that's it, just a little something. Uh, so we prepared those papers, and let me see if there's anything else I wanna do with any of these. I think for right now, I might sew up that one pocket. Let's put them into two signatures real quick before we get into the decorating. Put my ink away and I'll put my stencils aside I might come in and stencil the envelopes and things like that and do a little inking this one's just plain all right so I'm going to take to start each signature um, two of the pattern two of these print pretty pattern papers uh, then we'll go in and then you just can start putting your papers together any way you like. So why not do a coffee stain here? Um, I want to do a little rose on this just to carry the, the rose theme from that cover photo. Maybe right here. See, just a little bit, a little bit more ink here. And you can spritz if you want to spritz, you know, some inks on there, just to have droplets. Okay, so we're going to do that one next. And we're going to do the same thing here. No, 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 no. Ricky, Lucy, uh, Brie, and then I'm going to go ahead and do some um, graph paper, and let's do, why don't we do a little of this pretty, um, the vellum, I printed right on it, isn't that pretty? He's there. Okay, where's, here it is right here. And here. Uh, what do we want next? How about a little bit of this um, pretty um, handmade paper? I 
I did not make this paper. I ordered it, and I ordered it actually from Amazon. Um, let's do a couple more pieces of the coffee stain. No, let's come in and do some more of the um, printed paper. Let's do the scalloped ones. Let's do the scalloped ones next. Okay, and um, then the music. Okay, and I'll, I'll put this aside. I'll continue on with that other, just so you can get a, an idea. Um, I think I'm going to do the bag, one of the bags. Let's put this bag here. Um, then we have all book pages, um, another coffee stained paper, um, another, okay, um, pattern paper, uh, from a kit, and then I think I have one more, this one's cut better to size of these. And I have a couple of, you know what, I wanna end with a pattern paper in the middle, I think. Yeah. So we'll do the book page there. Okay, so there's one signature, and I cut these down to size, and I believe they were three. If you're going to do the same tag size I am, um, three and a half, so I, I did it, uh, I did it short, a uh, little narrower than that, three and a quarter and a little bit more, uh, because I didn't want it sticking out the side. And then the length was from, again, where the, um, you know, where the angle starts down. So that was five and a half. No, it's five and three quarters, and I believe I have this just uh, this at, at five and a half. Okay, so there's one. Um, that'll be one signature. This is going to be the middle signature. And then this is the last signature. And I will put the rest of that one together after because I want to move right on into decorating just for the essence of time here. So let's put our papers back there. So um, let's pull one of these out, and this is the front cover. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, and we're gonna decorate these. Now, I pulled out, I wanted to pull out the pinks and the greens and this color. I pulled out a stack of fabric. Oh, I wanna do a fabric flip in there, so I did find some coordinating fabric in my stash that goes with this paper. So I might cut a piece of this out and do a fabric flip and I'll show you what I mean by that if you're new to journaling. And then I also have some more trims here I might use. But then I was thinking I made these fun, um, I call them scrappy strips. I actually got the idea from G. Kerr, mine are actually a little bit different. They're a take on, I was inspired by her. If um, hers were more of a um, snippet strip so she could wrap them around. So, but I did um, paper and uh, cloth, paper and fabric, and this one's fabric and trims. And I did, a, I did do a video on this, so if you missed it. And I made them for the edges of paper of your pages, but I also made them to cut and trim down. So I'm going to see if I can incorporate any of these into, I had an angle pocket here. Let's do this angle pocket. And so I, I saw these three uh, kind of went with the project. See, there's even some roses here. And so I'll see what this looks like, cutting down a little, a few of these. Uh, I don't want to, you know, make this two-dimensional because then you won't be able to fold it good. 
but you're gonna have some tags in there and things too. So it's kind of already layered and done for me. So I think I'm just gonna run this, this strip right down here. Let me mark how I wanna cut that. And I'm just going to cut it with scissors. Let me just draw a little line there. And then the same thing here, probably would help if I used a ruler, but just eyeballing it. Okay, let's see if I can get this cut, this cut right, yep, okay. I think I might even trim this in half. Let's see. Take a little of the, um, it's a little bit, it's a little long. So let me just take a tad more off. And then I think, so we have a nice layer there. Actually, yeah, this way. Um, I think I'm gonna trim just part of this, this little ribbon off here. And we're gonna glue that right on. Angles off just a tad. Got a new thing of uh, Fabri-Tac, yay. Uh, before I do that, let's go ahead and just ink it. Ink it up. So you see I have three layers here of between paper and then the, the uh, ribbon. Seam binding, I think that is there, so. So that is an easy, easy way to decorate, is to make collage strips, or you know, another way everybody makes these. Um, I usually do them on the page, because I feel like I get a little bit better coordination that way, but this, the, um, oh, what do they call them, uh, clusters. All right, so that gives a little bit of um, embellishment there. And then maybe a little something here. Uh, maybe a pearl a crystal, or a crystal. Let me pull out my crystals. Or if I had a little flower or a little rose, I... Oh, you know what I do have? Yeah, this one's going to be too bright. I have this little rose. No, you know what? Maybe I can mute that just by inking it with some um, vintage photo or maybe some, uh, let's see if I can, if, let's see if I can. Kind of just dull the color a little bit. I wish it was more of a pale um, pink. Let me look here real quick, see if I have any. I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, I need to order some flowers. I have a little, I was thinking maybe even a fussy cut. I think I'm gonna look for a fussy cut. I think that's just a little bit too bright. Um, I got these cute fussy cuts from G. Kerr I'll go through the whole pile. I don't have them all out. And let me see. I've got some scraps of paper here. Hold on. Maybe I can find something here. Oh, I see something. Nah. All right. I'm going to look for a fussy cut. Yeah, I just want a little rose or a little something there. Unless a crystal. Let me put a crystal on there and see if I like the look of that. Just seeing what looks. A pearl would be pretty. That crystal's too big. I have a little pearl right here. It's a little pearl. 
just a little, just a little something. Okay, so um, while that dries, let's pull out the other, well, oh, here it is, this one and work on these, and then I can flip it over and work on the other side. I have this piece left, um, or we could do, oh, I have these little pink roses. I'm gonna put one of those up here on this one. Kinda of goes beautifully because there's some gold in here. So this is a, uh, some pretty trim that I got. And I'm going to just kinda of cut around a couple of these, the little gold branches, and then see how much. I want, that's pretty. I'm gonna do that right down there. I kinda was looking through my trims and I'm getting, for what I usually have, I'm kind of need some. But I just ordered um, a ton of sari silk in all colors off of Etsy. Um, when they come, I'll share them with you and share the shop uh, if I like the quality of them. And it was free shipping from California, which was great. Uh, but I bought a bunch of them. And because um, I'm pretty much out, except for I have this color and then a couple more. Okay. We've got that up here. I think since that's so like ornate, let's just maybe do a little pink ribbon or even a little white ribbon down the side here. Just following the, or do I want a piece of cards? You know what, let's do a piece of ribbon and then a piece of uh, scrap paper. So, I'm just gonna cut this here and then I'll cut off the excess. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's go ahead and just run a little bead of glue down and then I'll trim off what's hanging over when it dries. Pull out my scraps. And tear a piece. I like to use as much in the way of scraps as possible. I'm trying to find one that coordinates. This one, we'll use this one. Okay, I'm just going to tear a piece here. Just tear a little piece on this side. And then I'm going to tear down this. Okay, and then I need to tear just a little bit off of here and that's good. I think I'll bring it right up right up there and trim off the edge. And ink it. Let me do some pink on there. I like to use as much of the paper pad as possible. And then the little bits I don't, that's for collage. Okay, let's go ahead and trim off the excess and we'll see what that looks like. Maybe I can do this carefully without cutting my, um, my lace. Oh. All right, and I feel like 
like I need to do a little something right here. Let's do a crystal. You can decorate these as, as um, elaborately or as simply as you want. It, you know, it's up to your style. Oh, I've got too much glue. Okay, so there's, oops, secure that a little bit better. There's that pocket. Okay, let's move on to this pocket. Let's see what I have over here in the way of a scrap of my little scrappy. This is kind of pretty. This has pink in it and it's got a little crochet. This is super pretty right here. I think I'm just going to cut this little piece off. Looks like it was made for it. Though it's kind of getting lost there. I think we'll do it right here. It doesn't even need inked. Kind of just blends in the... Um, the lighter color over here so we got a little bit on that flip up there this would be pretty to come in and do a pearl on let me put a pearl on it it's time for my nails to be done and get cut down I usually don't wear them very long but mm, got a little hanker I had them I had a set put on because, you know, they don't grow very good because I'm in here so much for Valentine's Day. And it was our 30th wedding anniversary. And then, um, so I thought, well, I kind of like those. I'll leave them for a while. So they're still on. Um, I've got this rickrack, which I think is pretty. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Too much. Let's see. Oh, I have this bag of trim here, too. Um, this pink fabric here I'm going to put at the top, and I'm going to kind of um, probably rip it down. I just want to see if there's anything in here that some of it's a little bit too pink for my liking. Um, I've got some little bits of fabric. And I also have this rickrack, and I think that's pretty. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to dirty that rickrack up a little bit, but I'm going to put a piece of torn paper under it. Just fly by my seat of my pants here. I have to say this is my favorite part, though of journal making is the decorating. That's a pretty piece. Let me tear a piece of this. I want the rose in it. Again. Wrong color ink. And um, we'll do probably one more pocket of decorating and then um, I'll do another part and we will uh, finish up the any other decorations we need to do and then um, I will put the spine on and we will add our trims. And then after that, when it's completed, we will make some tags. Okay, let me just put the, I'm kind of covering the rows. 
Lucy. Lucy. No. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay, so we have this embellishment here. Okay, this embellished here, this pocket embellished. Uh, I don't think we need anything up here. I'll just make a really super fancy tag. Um, we did, oh, we did this one. We did the stenciling on our pages. We did this embellishing here. And you know what, while that's dry, I think I'm just gonna try to pop in and quickly embellish one more while you're here. Um, I like this right here and I wanna use it, so I'm going to use that right there. Is that what I wanna use right there? Oh, this is, a lot of this would work, wouldn't it? Ricky or Lucy. I think I can do two more of these real quick. And cut that. I like this pink crocheted trim here. I'm going to make this a teeny tiny tuck spot right here. And we're gonna do a cute little uh, a cute little ticket in it. So I'm just going to adhere three sides. Oh, sorry guys. So there's that one. This looks quite nice right here, doesn't it? Now I'm moving along because she's gonna start crying and I'm... I don't think you wanna hear that. And then this can go right here and we can have a teeny tiny tuck spot there. I just had her out. I got three spoiled dogs. So that's sweet. I'll get this closer to the camera so you can see that. And then I had, where's that other little piece I wanted here? There was, oh, here it is. It's got a little pink ribbon in it. Though I think right here I'm just going to do um, some of that rickrack again. But oh, you know what else I have? This is pretty. That would give a nice contrast when it's open. So I am going to just kind of put a little pink on that. Just a, just a tad. And then maybe even just a little vintage photo. Let's see how this looks. No, that's fine. Something, maybe I want the pink behind it. Let me see. Oh, I like that better. I think I'm just going to put the pink behind it. No, 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 no. Just give me one more minute. got a little bit of adhesive on it. Hold on. See the side? Yeah, that's good. If you guys missed the um, video I did on the scrappy sticks, st st strips, sticks, scrappy strips, um, uh, it's like two videos before this, so just scroll down and you will see it. And boy, is it saving me time when it comes to, you know, layering up embellishments. And it really, I saw that just at 
a little at the top, a little at the bottom. That one went fast. So we've got a little tuck here. We're going to have a tuck here. We're going to have a tuck there. We're going to have a little tuck there, tuck there, tuck there. We have a tuck here. We have a tuck here. Um, and this is a double tuck here. I could probably have done a triple tuck there, huh? And there are only one pocket left that I have to embellish, and it's this one, right? Yeah, and we did this embellishing today, this embellishing, and that's it for today, guys. So be back for step four of this folio. Uh, well, it's not a folio. It's like an accordion folio type junk journal, but it's a tag shape. So it's coming along nicely. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.